Welcome back to the Sunday Sports Frenzy. We're just a few days away from the World of Outlaws closing the 2021 season at the World Finals in Charlotte, North Carolina. A local outlaw reaching a career milestone that he hoped and came ever so close to achieving in Central PA. And finally, Logan Schuhart ties his grandfather, Bobby Allen, for 30 career outlaw wins. Here's how it happened. Kicking off things Friday night in Lawton, Oklahoma, all Pennsylvania front row as Logan Schuhart and Brock Zierfoss finish 1-2 in the dash. Carson Macedo quickly swallows up the Jonestown jet in the first corner as he heads to track down the shark. Six laps in, Macedo finds his lane on the inside and gets a run to take the lead away from Schuhart. The rest of the race, it was the chase to Macedo. Brad Sweet and David Gravel continue to battle for the points in the final week. Macedo goes unchallenged and pulls away from Schuhart for the win. The race on Saturday night at the Devil's Bowl in the Lone Star State. There has only been one name at the top of the charts the last two years. That name, well, Logan Schuhart. But this race, he has a little more work to do after starting eighth and once again alongside Zierfoss. Coming to seven laps to go, Schuhart returns the favor on Macedo from Friday night and in the same spot a lap later, takes the lead away from Jeniton, gets the hard charger and cruises to his third consecutive Devil's Bowl. Only Sam Sammy Swindell and Mark Kinzer, the only two other drivers to do so at the birthplace of the Outlaws. It's pretty cool to, for a racetrack that's, um, you know, the history of it, and it's uh, 20,000 to win, and we're able to win it three times in a row. It's, it's pretty, pretty tough thing to do, and a pretty cool accomplishment. Blood, sweat, and tears from 2016 to get to this point, and now he ties his grandfather, Bobby Allen, for 30 Outlaw wins. Yeah, he's funny. If anybody that knows him, uh, knows that he doesn't, you know, as far as stats and uh, trophies and, and stuff like that, it doesn't mean a lot to him. It, what does mean a lot to him is being in the moment and, uh, you know, what happens that night, trying to win that race. And after that one's over, that one's in the past, and we look forward to the next one. So he doesn't, you know, as far as his wins and, and all that, I don't. he doesn't think too much into that. And um, I knew he wouldn't, really. Um, but, it's, you know, as far as myself, it's, it's special to me that him and I are able to win those races together as a team. And um, I hope to, to win many more with him by my side. Since the beginning of September through 13 races, the Shark has won four and knew it was going to happen. Just didn't know when as the Shark heads to the final weekend, the World Finals in Charlotte, North Carolina. Of course, we're always cheering on those Pennsylvania drivers in the highest level.